This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about Cloudflare, ticker symbol NET, which is a network infrastructure and security company. Its stock is currently trading at about $52 with a market cap of about $17 billion. A few months ago, I made a video about Cloudflare when it was at $58. In that video, I suggested that the price to sales is about $20 and even a 50% growth rate is not going to justify its price. Since then, the stock fell to about $42, but whenever there is good news, the money keeps flowing back into these SaaS stocks. So that's why it's currently trading at about $52. Cloudflare as a company is doing really good. They're growing their revenue at more than 40% rate. In fact, this year they're planning to grow about 48% and reach that $1 billion revenue in 2022. And they have dollar net retention rate of more than 120% for the past few quarters. And their gross margins are in the order of 78 to 79%. Cloudflare also has very strong cash position. They have about $1.6 billion in cash and cash equivalents. Based on their cash burning rate, this is going to last them for years to come. But out of this 1.6 billion, we need to understand that about 1.3 billion dollars is in the form of convertible notes, which means that it is going to cause some dilution in the coming years, maybe 2026 or 2025. Despite Cloudflare being in a very strong position, I'm going to demonstrate why it is a very bad buy at the current price. For that, I'm going to show you the 2027 Cloudflare evaluation. And I'm going to assume that they're going to make about $5 billion of revenue in 2027. I base this $5 billion number based on their CEO's prediction. I watched their CEO's interview in the past few days, and he kept saying that their aim is to make this $5 billion of revenue in the next five years, which is 2027. So this is very optimistic target because that requires about 38% growth rate year on year. Based on their gross margins, I'm going to assume that their net profit margin would be about 25%. That's going to result in $1.25 billion of net income in 2027. And I'm going to assume a multiple of 25 for this because I think 25 is apt for a company that's growing in the 38% range and has a 25% net profit margin. So that's going to result in about $31 billion of market cap in 2027. Currently, they have about 327 million outstanding shares, but based off of their stock-based compensation, and the convertible notes, I'm going to assume 5% dilution in the five coming years. That's going to result in 417 million outstanding shares in 2027. This could be more or this could be less, but this is just my assumption. So when we divide the $31 billion market cap with this 417 million outstanding shares, that's going to result in a $75 price target. But the current stock price is about $52, right? So that's about 44% gain in five years. And remember, this is based off of an optimistic revenue target, right? The CEO is saying 38% growth rate year on year, but as they get bigger and bigger, it's very hard to grow at 30% plus range, right? So I'm being very optimistic when it comes to the revenue target. So with optimistic assumptions, we're looking at a 44% gain in five years, which is really, really lousy gain. So I'm going to stay away from companies like this. So I wouldn't be buying this stock unless it comes to the $35 range, but I wouldn't be surprised that this stock will go to $75 in the near future because there's a lot of cash on the sidelines and whenever there is good news, that cash keeps coming back to these growth stocks regardless of what valuation they are at. I would rather put my money in low to medium risk 2x stocks like Google and Amazon. So for that reason, I'm going to stay away from this Cloudflare. If you have a different opinion, I would love to learn from you. Please put your opinion in the comments so we can discuss.